Hello everybody and welcome to another digital transmission from the Great Neck Library STEM Lab. Today, a uh, little different, we are going to be working with Corel Draw, specifically Corel Draw 2018. It's the software we use when we're doing a lot of cut files with our laser cutter. And we've had a lot of people coming in, this being the holiday season, um, trying to make text that actually goes around in a circle. So I'm going to show you really quick and easy how you can do that in this software. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this is Corel Draw, um, and what we can do in this software is we can actually begin by drawing out a shape. So I'm using the ellipse tool here. I'm going to set the size to 4, and that now gives me the ellipse. I'll zoom in a little. I can grab the text tool. And instead of just drawing a box in the empty space, which is what a lot of the other tutorials I found online said, all you have to do is take the text tool, bring it right onto the line of the circle, and you're going to notice the squiggly line or this dotted box. Both of those will work to do what we're trying to do. You can just begin to type. I'm going to actually go ahead and change out the font and get the right font size that I like. I've done this a few times already while recording, and... Uh, Think this font works the best. So we're going to just write a nice little happy uh, phrase, this happy holidays from the STEM lab. Just like that. Now you notice that it's immediately writing right on the circle, which is excellent. So we can move that around, we can take a look. However, you may want to have the text uh, below or in the inside of the circle or upside down or written around the whole thing. So you can actually grab your um, picker tool and just move it around, just like this. Okay. You can also push it into the text. This is very useful if you want to have circular text in something like a coaster, um, and therefore you know the size. Or you can have it on the outside. Both ways work. So we'll put it on the inside here just as if we were doing a coaster and we're just lining everything up. So it's very simple, just putting the text directly on that path. Okay. Now the next thing you're going to notice is that there is the uh, actual lines of the circle there. And you probably don't want that, especially if your coaster is the exact same measurement. Um, so we'll be able to fix that. Of course, you can also change the font here if you want to again. It works all the same. I'll make it 32 a little smaller. Now, if you grab your normal picker tool and you try to select the circle, you're going to actually select the circle in the text. So if you were to hit delete, it just goes away. But if you grab the shape tool and you click on the circle line like this and you hit delete, you only delete the shape or just the, the circle there. However, it's going to change how you can interact with that text. You can still kind of highlight it and change what's said there. But if you try to rotate it, it's not going to work unless you were to click on the text and then click again. And then you get the normal rotation tools that are common in Corel. So you probably don't want to do that. So there is another method. Um, one that's a little gives you a little bit more options and you take that shape tool select the circle and go up to your pen size and click none and that actually makes um, the line just an invisible force that's there which allows you to still rotate your text around that circle and uh, make it bigger smaller whatever you need to do so you can kind of just adjust everything the way that you want even though you can't see the circle line it's still there it's still part of the program um, it's just not visible anymore. So hopefully this gives you some ideas, gets you started. Obviously, we're always here to help at the Great Next Library STEM Lab. And uh, until we see you next time, have a great day. Bye.